Hello everyone and welcome back to Benchmark 2. In the last episode we went exploring in a little dungeon down here. It wasn't a very extensive dungeon but it was nice. We got some decent loot. Diamond sword out of it. And in today's episode I think I'm going to want to try and get us a bit more power. My jetpack's pretty well charged at the moment but I'd like to get us like a a better ba a better battery box, maybe some better solar panels, just so I can have much better charge, and then I can possibly go around and look for a new base location. But let's just get straight into it and have a look at the quests here. So what's next? So to get the MFE, I think we need this energy crystal here. So we need to start working towards that then. So first machines we need. An extractor, an alloy smelter, and a compressor. So those are the three machines we need to get for ourselves. Well, that is easy. That's an easy compressor. Alloy smelter. That looks like it takes a few things. We're going to need to get ourselves an electric furnace as well. I think. Or does an alloy smelter work as a furnace normally? Because it's got two furnaces in it. And then what else do we need? And the extractor is fairly easy as well. So we need a couple iron furnaces. And then we need to upgrade them into an electric furnace. Then into an alloy smelter, and we need a lot of basic machine frames. So let's grab refined iron, we're going to need quite a lot of. So we're just going to chuck them in there. Okay, I'm going to get all the resources together and cut back. Okay, I think I've got everything I need. So, compressor. Thank you. Extractor. Doom. Elect uh, alloy smelter was the next thing I needed, wasn't it? Just want to confirm I am doing this right. Yeah, so I just need an alloy smelter. So I need two electric furnaces and one iron alloy furnace. Okay, I grabbed one more iron furnace than I needed by the looks of it. And then alloy smelter. Boom. So that quest is complete. No rewards, that's a shame. Then it looks like I need a chemical reactor before I can get the energy crystal. And I do get rewards there, that's cool. Let's get industrial. Okay. Don't really know what that would achieve. And then there's a recycler to get scrap. I, I do know that from back in the day of industrial craft. Right, but I need to smash out a wall here. So I can fit all my stuff in. Alloy smelter, compressor, boom. And of course, I'm one cable short from getting everything in. Why not? So this alloy smelter, does it just cook normal? No, so I will need an, an electric furnace as well. Well, luckily I have one iron furnace left, but I need the cables now, don't I? Industrial copper. Right, I'm going to go grab some rubber. Okay, I got myself the rubber. I've also just been down to the cave to get myself some more redstone and some more iron. I just found a diamond. But yeah, I was really low on redstone, so I wanted to go and get some of that. And it there also was a blood moon that started while I was in the cave. And it did seem to like change the caving experience. There were a lot more zombies. And this Enderman seems to be angry at me, but I don't think I looked at it. 
Oh, God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't look at this Enderman, so I don't know if it just also aggroed because of the Blood Moon. It's gone. Oh, it's come back. Come on. Ah, oh, one of the just lost a villager. Okay, that was my fifth year zombie. Good for me. Right, let's just lock ourselves. Oh yeah, can't sleep. Let's lock ourselves in here and crack on with what we were doing. I really need to get some chest organization system going on. Get the last four. I did trade with the with a goblin trader I found to upgrade my iron, but he locked up on some trades. Yeah, and as you can see, I got loads of rubber from my trees. And I left them as stumps because I want to see if they regrow as stumps, and it looks like they do. I can see two from here. Okay, so where were we? So we need some copper. I was making myself an electric furnace and some more cables, wasn't I? So there we go, we can hook up the extractor, although it is night time, so we won't be getting any power. My jetpack is almost out, because I was using it quite a lot in the cave. And then I just need an electric furnace. Boom, electric furnace. Stick that up here. Sorry, I missed there. Okay. So that is a much better version of the furnace. Is it quicker? Uh, maybe? That feels slightly quicker, doesn't it? Ever so slightly. Or maybe not, I don't know. But it uses up energy. Okay, then what's next in the old quest book? A chemical reactor. Chemical. Oh, we're getting quite advanced here. Invar plates. I haven't made invar yet. Compressor extractor. Okay. How hard is it to make a quarry? Doesn't tell me. But I mean, it's the first quest, a quarry. Oh god. Okay, that is, that is a bit complicated. So we're not quite quarry level just yet. So we'll stick the Tech Reborn Chemical Reactor. Did I favourite it? I did not. Anyway, I can, I can remove all of these. But this is what I need. So I need two extractors, which I've just made. Compressors I've just made. So that's fairly easy. Invar plates is what I'm worried about. So I can compress it. I've got a compressor, that's fine. How do I get the invar? Okay, so it just looks like... Okay, one nickel, two iron. Ah, the blood moon's set. Alright, so that should get me some invar. And then... I'm going to need three more... Well, we need five more of these. Perfect. Then I need three of these. I need eight tree taps and some stone. There's my invar. Oh. Nearby players get a bonus against the zombie. That's pretty good. 
I'll take that. Right, I picked some oranges at one point as well. Uh, extractors, that's what I need. Luckily, I've got a whole bunch of rubber wood. The amount of trees I've been chopping down. Okay. Extractor. Extractor. Compressor waiting on the stone. Compressor, and I need four of these invar plates. So I'll compress those down, and then I need the two advanced circuits. So lapis and glowstone. Oh, wrong button. Okay, and then once I get these invar plates, we will be good to go on the chemical reactor. Then we can start getting some energy crystals, and I think. That will be the main thing we need for the MFE here. So it is these energy crystals. Oh no, we need an assembling machine for that. The chemical reactor is to get these redstone crystals. But for each, it's just so expensive. For each energy crystal, you need a stack of redstone. I think that's just ridiculous. Stack of redstone and two diamonds per. And the gold cable's fine. You can do that. Basic machine frame. So what was the machine I needed? Assembling machine. Where, do, where does that come in the quest? It's there. Okay, so I think I unlock it after doing this, possibly. And then there's the nano saver there I can get. That seems quite cool. I get some nice rewards for that as well. Right, anyway, that should be the Invar plates. We can go ahead and make the chemical reactor. Just stick it there. So there we go, chemical reactor. Wrong button. Okay, and now we need to make the assembling machine. How difficult is that? That needs an advanced machine frame. That's my first one. So advanced alloy plate, carbon plates. Why is that so complicated? Right, so I need to grind coal down to coal dust. And then combine it into carbon fiber then into carbon mesh, and then into a carbon plate. That is way more complicated than it needs to be, I would say. How much coal do I have? Decent amount. I'll just start grinding some down now. Where's my grinder? I... No, that was the first machine I made. Digital display. Some black dye I can do. So let's go get some squids. Oh, and there's a dungeon there I want to check out. Something here. Oh, this is on the wrong thing. Name tag, potatoes. Go away. I'm trying to loot your chest. Oh, what the hell is this? A crown. I think that was a new food. Raw potato, why not? I don't know if that's new. Okay, I get it. You don't like me. I don't really like me either. Now, where the hell is a squid? There. Uh, oh, I got a looting sword from a chest earlier. I should have taken it with me. What is this? 
block of citrine. Okay, that's weird. Is that it? Just that one squid? There's a ocean monument right here. That's interesting. Let's go away before we get mining fatigue. Okay, there's, a, there's quite a few un structures underwater. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know. I don't really need any of this. Some food, I suppose. But my inventory is quite full. To the surface, almost died there. We've got this little thing here. I can hear somebody, I think. Yeah, there we go. This seems like it's got something in it, though. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, I knew it. Right, I'm going to get my stuff back. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to call the episode here as well. I'm going to get my stuff back, and I'll meet you back here in the next episode, and we will carry on with the machines here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I never turn my shaders back on after caving. Goodbye.